Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The program is set to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for a message from NBC Nightly News anchor Brian Williams. Today and every day, over 500 military service members will change from their service uniforms into civilian lives. These men and women have been trained to be resourceful. They've trained to be leaders, team builders, and problem solvers. Today, they're busy preparing resumes, working on contacts, looking for housing, and reacquainting with old friends. These veterans will take on these tasks as their new mission, a responsibility that they each hold. And they will perform these new duties with the diligence and attention to detail that they learned in the military. But for all they do, we too have a very important role in their lives, in their successful reintegration. Each community, every workplace, every college campus has to be prepared to receive these veterans with respect and understanding. Because if our nation views these people as assets truly and leaders, then our veterans will respond. They will be great. They will help us to reinvigorate our communities. We are all in this together. Think of what we asked of them during this nation's dual wars. We've got their six, and they have ours. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Academy Award winning producer and uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Wendy McClendon Covey. Thank you for joining us, and I'm glad that was just put out into the universe of Academy Award winning producer. I'll take it however I can get it. Oh, this is so important. Thank you again for joining us this morning. Um, look, we don't all have the chance to serve in the military and to learn about how soldiers communicate or how Marines take care of one another. But as we become more familiar with their customs and courtesies, their language and habits, we can start to have a better understanding of what the military is all about. And we can appreciate the principles of leadership that, um, that 
commitment to service, and we can begin to understand the camaraderie that makes military veterans some of the most dedicated and selfless individuals in our country. In the public service announcement, you're about to see some of my friends and I take a look from a different perspective to see if we can understand the most important ideas in the military, the importance of having one another's back. We believe, and we hope you do too, that this idea is something we should emulate here at home as well. Thank you. Do you know what it means to have someone's back? To have another life depend on you and only you? Where your vision, your defense, your support is the very thing that is the difference in their life or death. This feeling is known in the truest form by those that willingly protect you and me every day. In the military, got your six means I've got your back. They've got our six. It's time we got theirs. Through jobs, education, housing, and more, we can support returning military veterans and their families. To find out more information, go to gotyoursix.org. They've got our six. Now it's time that we have theirs. I've got your six. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Executive Vice President of SAG-AFTRA and our host for today, Mr. Ned Vaughn. Thank you, thank you all and good morning. Uh, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the national headquarters of SAG-AFTRA. We come together here today in the midst of our own celebration of collaboration. Uh, for more than 75 years, SAG and AFTRA existed as uh, separate unions in the entertainment and media industries, but we are now proud that SAG-AFTRA is one union uh, joined by our common objectives and our shared determination to have the backs of all our members. Well, that's just how it is with Got Your Six. We have gathered here uh, to mark another coming together as the entertainment industry puts aside its usual competitive desires to collaborate on a single campaign with a single mission focused on veterans and military families. It is a true honor to host the launch of this unprecedented effort, uh, which is not only inspired by our colleagues in the armed forces, but is in fact modeled after their selflessness and collaborative spirit. By those measures, the brave men and women who serve our country and uh, their remarkable families, well, they set the bar far higher than most of us will ever achieve, but we can and will use their shining example to guide our efforts to honor and, most important, support them. On behalf of SAG-AFTRA, I want to thank you once again for joining us today to be part of this momentous occasion. And now let's all enjoy the program. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Academy Award-winning producer and veterans advocate, Bruce Cohen. Thank you. Well, when I grow up, I want to be Wendy McClendon Covey, so it's a perfect switch. Um, Ned spoke about collaboration throughout the entertainment industry and the ability to work together to enhance the impact of your partners is a fundamental tenet of the Got Your Six campaign. And our collaboration extends beyond Hollywood. Got Your Six will stretch across the public, private, and nonprofit sectors, facilitating powerful partnerships. As the Hollywood liaison for the First Lady and Dr. Biden's Joining Forces Initiative, I am incredibly excited and deeply proud to see all of this collaboration spreading. The Got Your Six campaign is precisely the type of exciting endeavor that Joining Forces continues to inspire across the country. The Office of the First Lady has played a role in the Got Your Six movement since its genesis more than 16 months ago. From the Pentagon to the VA to the Department of Labor, the federal government has been a key stakeholder in the development of this campaign. And today, we are proud to be joined by two military veterans who play instrumental roles in Washington. Please welcome 
Deputy Assistant Secretary of Labor and United States Marine Corps veteran Junior Ortiz, and the Executive Director of Joining Forces, United States Navy Captain Brad Cooper. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. From rural communities to major cities, brave Americans wear our nation's uniform and give them themselves unselfishly to keep America safe every day. As a veteran of the Marine Corps, I understand how important it is to honor and serve America's veterans. As a father of four service members who have served tours in both Iraq and Afghanistan, I personally understand the sacrifices made by our service members and their families. We all aspire to greatness, our country, our businesses, and our families. But the U.S. military is the only organization in the world that trains for greatness. Hiring a veteran means hiring a leader, a leader that brings the assets of integrity, honesty, loyalty, and teamwork. These are the assets that are essential in the workplace. These are the assets that our veterans bring to the table every day. As our troops come home and our veteran population grows, the ability to have a meaningful employment is part of the continuum to help them achieve their dreams and to make America grow. Secretary Solis and the Department of Labor are fully committed in doing what we can to ensure our veterans and their families have employment and have their needs met. That is why we're proud to be part of Got Your Six, because it shows that private and public sectors are working in a collaborative way to accomplish the mission of taking care of our troops. Working together, we can make a difference in taking care of our warriors and their families. And when you hire our veterans, you know you have employees that got you six today and always. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh, first to Bruce for his great work as the Joining Forces Liaison uh, here in the entertainment industry. I'd like to thank you, and I'd also like to thank Junior. Uh, not lost on me is that uh, some number of decades ago, Junior was actually a college instructor of mine. So it's a good lesson for everyone in college. Be nice to your teachers. You never know when you'll be on the stage with them at some point in life. <laughs> you know, for the, uh, for the better part of the last three decades, I've had the great privilege of wearing the cloth of the nation uh, and having ha had really a genuine a thrill and privilege of serving with the young men and women who this campaign is all about. And, and whether it is in any of the 10 deployments that I've had or on the ground in Afghanistan, I will tell you they are an extraordinary group. For those who haven't had the chance to meet many veterans, make it uh, an opportunity for you to seize at some time in the very near term. You'll come to that invariably, that same conclusion. They're an extraordinary group, and I'm privileged that when the end of my tour is, is up here at the White House, that I'll get the chance to go back and serve with them once again, uh, because it truly is an honor. And I think that what you're doing here today uh, is going to make uh, uh, an incredible difference. And what's truly extraordinary about them is they have given back to this country time and time again and they have stepped up to the plate and succeeded in ways unimaginable. So now we feel as though it's our turn to give back. And that's why last year, the First Lady and Dr. Biden announced joining forces as a way to, a way to recognize, honor, and support our veteran service members and their families. And not just by saying thank you, but, for, but through the type of meaningful action uh, that comes from efforts uh, as today, as, as you'll see today. Uh, through joining forces, we've asked Americans across the country to step up and do what they do best. And we've seen from sea to shining sea, uh, Americans from all corners of the country step up and do what they do best. We've seen employer hire, employers hire tens of thousands of veterans and military spouses. We've seen doctors and nurses commit to having a better understanding of the health issues affecting our veterans. We've seen volunteers engaged in new and creative ways uh, with, uh, to be able to help uh, our nation's most severely wounded. And those are all significant endeavors. Those are, those are big deals and they make a difference, just like the type of difference that many of the organizations will be making here today. Last year, the First Lady came here to Hollywood and asked the leaders of the entertainment industry to step up and do what they do best. Connect with Americans, capture our imagination, open our eyes, and touch our hearts. And today's launch of Got Your Six 
is a wonderful response to that call to action. So thank all of you, the organizations in the entertainment industry, uh, the veteran service organizations, the nonprofits, and the government agencies, all who have joined forces today on behalf of our veteran service members and military families, and not just with words, but through meaningful action. We look forward to working with you in the months and, months and years to come as we strive to collectively serve our veterans and military families as well as they've served us. Thanks so much. Please welcome to the stage the managing director of the Got Your Six campaign, Captain Chris Marvin, U.S. Army retired. As an Army aviator, I use the term got your six every time I flew. The 12 o'clock position is always to your front. Three and nine are right and left, and six o'clock is behind you. Saying I've got your six means I'm watching your back, and I know that you are watching mine. We are all in this together. So when my Black Hawk helicopter crashed near the Afghan-Pakistan border, I knew that my fellow aviators, soldiers, and Marines would have my six. They would come to my aid and ensure that I made it home safely. And these are precisely the people that extracted me from the wreckage of the aircraft, tended to my multiple injuries, and stood beside me through years of recovery. It is in that spirit that defines this campaign. For us, got your six means collaboration. The entertainment industry has united with best-in-class nonprofits to change the conversation in this country so that veterans are perceived as civic assets and leaders. Civilians and veterans, public, private, and nonprofit sectors, we're all in this together. And together, we can meet any challenge, at home or abroad. Inspired by those who have served, we will join each other to reinvigorate our nation. It gives me great pleasure as a representative of Service Nation and as the managing director of the Got Your Six campaign to welcome two representatives from the entertainment industry who have made commitments as individuals and through their companies to support this effort. Please welcome United States Marine Corps veteran and the president and COO of Universal Studios, Ron Meyer, and the president of programming for HBO, Michael Lombardo. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, I'm pleased and humbled to be here today uh, for the launch of the Gotcha Six campaign. Uh, as a member of this industry and as a veteran of the United States Marine Corps, it's with great pride that I join my colleagues in supporting those who serve in the military. Veterans make a great sacrifice for our country. Selfless service, dedication, and loyalty. Those are some of the qualities that employers look for when hiring, that schools seek in their students, and they hope that we all hope to find in our friends and neighbors. Now with this launch, every major studio, network, talent agency, and guild has united with the top tier nonprofit organizations. It is our intention as an industry to do all we can to bring awareness to this campaign and to amplify the great efforts that our nonprofit partners are leading around the country. The end result of all our efforts has to be jobs for our vets. Got Your Six means more than I've got your back. It means we are committed to them as an industry and hopefully as a country. Thanks. The military provides unquestionable training for leadership skills. And I can tell you from experience that veterans stand out as leaders and assets in the entertainment industry. I had the pleasure of uh, sitting and recently just standing next to one and I work for another. As Americans, if we want to continue to see veterans succeed, we must embrace them and welcome them home as the leaders they have learned to be. We should expect great things from them, and they will deliver as the entertainment industry has most assuredly learned. My company and many others in our industry have already begun to provide support for this movement. We plan to continue driving awareness through creative original content, support from talent and executives, in media across all platforms. Got Your Six is a true collaborative effort 
And I hope, speaking for the entertainment industry, we are committed to raising national awareness for the message and actions behind this campaign for some time to come. Thank you very much. Please welcome to the stage from the new motion picture Battleship, actress Brooklyn Decker and the actor-director Peter Berg. With Hollywood's help, the Got Your Six campaign will appeal to all Americans. But this campaign is more than just about awareness. It's about actions and results. There are many ways for each of us to share in the sacrifice and show our appreciation in meaningful ways to those who serve in uniform. In doing so, we can increase our understanding and work to bridge the civilian-military divide. Got Your Six will help people answer calls to action through dozens of opportunities, such as volunteering in the community, giving blood, reading books about the military, hiring a veteran, learning more about health concerns, and many, many more. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, in addition, the entertainment industry <clears throat> excuse me, is extremely proud to partner with more than two dozen nonprofit organizations as they embark on a robust active, activation campaign. Got Your Six has outlined the six pillars of veteran reintegration. They are jobs, education, health, housing, family, and leadership. With the help of the Clinton Global Initiative, in each of these areas, a lead Activation Partner has, been made a, has made a substantial commitment that will help define the purpose and impact of this campaign. Each commitment has a specific goal and a time frame in which to complete it. Throughout the campaign, partners will track progress towards their goals and work in collaborative ways to accomplish them. I have more. I'm sorry. I have a lot. Uh, <clears throat> In a moment, the lead activation partners will take the stage to announce their goals. Please note that these are not groups of civilians working to help veterans. Rather, each of these organizations is run veterans or run by veterans or family, military family members. To describe their commitments, I am pleased to present the lead activation partners for Got Your Six. Yes. Good morning, my name is Kevin Schmiegel. As a 20-year Marine veteran, I'm humbled to be here today. As a father of three teenage boys, I am excited to follow Brooklyn Deckler on to the stage. <laughs> it will undoubtedly improve my standing at home. I am privileged to lead a nationwide program called Hiring Our Heroes at the US Chamber of Commerce. We are proud to be a part of Got Your Six and to, to make a commitment about something very important, employment and jobs. We will work with several existing partners to accomplish this goal, including 1,600 local chambers of commerce, the departments of labor, defense and veterans affairs, joining forces, and goodwill industries. Our commitment reads, in coordination with the Got Your Six campaign, the US Chamber of Commerce Hiring Our Heroes program will engage the business community, companies big and small, to hire 500,000 veterans and military spouses by December of 2014. Good morning. I am Becky Canis, a West Point graduate a U.S. Army veteran, and the director of the 100,000 Homes Campaign, coordinated by Community Solutions. It is a pleasure to be part of Got Your Six and to lead the commitment for the housing pillar. To achieve our goal, we've already established relationships with the Department of Veterans Affairs, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, and the Interagency Council on Homelessness, as well as hundreds of community organizations across the country. Our commitment reads, in coordination with Got Your Six campaign, the 100,000 Homes campaign, and our partners, including the Department of Veteran Affairs, and over 120 participating communities are leading an effort to house 10,000 chronically homeless veterans by July 2014.
Good morning. Uh, my name is Spencer Kempton. I am a former United States Army Black Hawk helicopter pilot, and I am currently the Chief Operating Officer of The Mission Continues. With me are Jake Wood and William McNulty, the co-founders of Team Rubicon and United States Marine Corps veterans. We are proud to represent the leadership pillar for the Got Your Six campaign. Along with Team Rubicon, within this pillar, the Mission Continues will engage the Six Branch, the Corporation for National and Community Service, and other partners to help us achieve our goal. Our commitment reads, in coordination with the Got Your Six campaign, the Mission Continues, Team Rubicon, and our partners will engage veterans and military family members in 1.5 million hours of veterans of volunteer service in communities nationwide by July 2013. Good morning. My name is Barbara Van Dalen, and I'm the daughter of a World War II Navy veteran. I'm a clinical psychologist, and I'm the president and founder of Give an Hour. We are so eager and excited to be joining Got Your Six on this collaborative effort. And to reach our goals, we will be working with the White House's Joining Forces Initiative, the Departments of Defense, and Veterans Affairs. Our commitment reads, in coordination with the Got Your Six campaign, Give an Hour and our partners will lead a program to educate 100,000 students and graduate students in the mental health disciplines across our country on the unique issues that affect veterans and their military families. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Matthew Fager. I am with Student Veterans of America, a coalition of student veteran organizations on college and university campuses across the nation that represents many of the 800,000 veterans who are going back to school. Our co-lead partner in the education pillar is the Pat Tillman Foundation. And joining me on stage is Tillman military, military scholar and Army surviving spouse, Nicole Hart. We are, <laughs> we are incredibly pleased to be partners on the Got Your Six campaign. Our commitment reads, in coordination with the Got Your Six campaign, Student Veterans of America, the Pat Tillman Foundation, and our partners will collect pledges from 500 colleges and universities to offer supportive, veteran-specific resources, programs, and policies by June 2014. Good morning. I am Nolene Tillman from Blue Star Families and a 25-year U.S. Air Force military spouse. I'm joined today by Major Paul Mock, U.S. Army retired, a senior advisor to the Military Children Education Coalition, our co-lead for the Family Pillar. In coordination with the Got Your Six campaign, Blue Star Families and the Military Child Education Coalition and our partners will provide reintegration tools and training to 300,000 military families and over 100,000 primary and secondary educators by December 2014. Please welcome to the stage the President and CEO of our national activation partner, Goodwill Industries International, Mr. Jim Gibbons, and choreographer and star of So You Think You Can Dance, Mary Murphy. Well, thank you to all of the lead activation part partners for those powerful commitments. Because of the goodwill of Southern California and their leading initiatives for veterans and their families, Goodwill is excited to invest in and be a part of Got Your Six. We have great faith and belief in the value and the potential of America's veterans. We will leverage the Goodwill capabilities in workforce development, 
in programming and with our extraordinary reach in 2,700 neighborhoods to support the lead activation partners in these extraordinary commitments you've just heard them make. Today, we are holding a national virtual job career fair focused on veterans, and we're also in 100 markets with on-the-ground career fairs at the same time. And next week, as a springboard of our Got Your Six commitment, we will be launching in partnership with the Walmart Foundation Good Jobs, the Operations Good Jobs, uh, which will convene community to harness resources to ensure that military veterans and their families receive the skills and the opportunities for their success. From combat to community, for, from deployment to employment, we are humbled to work with these talented not-for-profits and the entertainment industries to raise the awareness and achieve these results. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. We'd also like to take a moment to recognize the strategic partners of the Got Your Six campaign. Many of you who sent representatives here today to this press conference, these organizations cut across all six pillars of reintegration and will provide unique and valuable tools to this campaign. It's with great pleasure that I can list such top-tier organizations as the American Red Cross, the Bob Woodruff Foundation, the Code of Support Foundation, the Institute for Veterans and Military Families at Syracuse University, Northern California Institute for Research and Education, Operation Gratitude, the Points of Light Institute, the Sierra Club, Volunteers of America, the USO, and Warrior Gateway. Thank you all for being partners. It's inspiring to see this type of collaboration and work. One thing I know for sure, I've got your six. To kick off our closing program, please welcome to the stage Navy veteran and vice president of comedy at HBO, Amy Gravitt, and actor, comedian, and U.S. Marine Corps reservist, Lieutenant Colonel Rob Riggle. As a society, we have a tendency to segregate veterans. We lift them up as untouchable heroes, or we express pity for the hardships they endure. While in reality, most veterans are everyday people like you and me. As veterans, we share in triumphs and challenges alongside our civilian friends and coworkers. And so when we are unnecessarily separated from the civilian community, it can make it harder to reintegrate. Today, there are more than 22 million veterans in the United States and another 3 million who are currently serving. That is more than one in every 10 adult Americans. If we take a look around our schools, companies, our neighborhoods, places of worship, chances are we'll find veterans in our everyday lives. While it may not always be immediately obvious, we are all in this together. In the military, the term got your six is pretty well known. Um, to civilians, maybe not so much. Uh, but it's pretty easy to explain, as you've heard here today. Uh, watching your, got your six means I'm watching your back. And uh, when civilians learn this, they know one more thing about the military. And they might feel a little bit more comfortable with veterans and military culture. And they've also taken a small step towards bridging the civilian military gap. Soon, we hope to have Got Your Six be a well-known campaign as well as a well-known idea around the country. We plan to spread this message from person to person as a way to bridge the gap and to reach a level of shared understanding. This video you're about to see, well, that's what we tried to do, and this is just one example of a way that we can spread the message. I want to thank Ron, per Ron Perlman Kim Coates, and uh, Theo Rossi, who's here today. Um, uh, all the people at uh, FX, uh, their show, Sons of Anarchy, great show. 
uh, as well as all the talented folks over at Funny or Die who worked very hard on this piece. Hope you enjoy it. I mean, definitely better than the second. I don't know if, like, as a whole as good as the first, but, um, yeah, no, he sounded a lot like him. It was impressive. Yeah, he, he's in it more. <laughs> got your back, bro. Got your back. I just got slapped. Got your back. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> <That's awesome>. Hey! <laughs> a great moment. I love you both. How about that? Huh? Got your back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wash your hands? No. Nope. Got your back. Oh, ho. that sounds amazing. <laughs> I got your back, man. Yeah! yeah! Woo! We playing basketball or what are we doing, huh? We are pooping yeah, it up? Yeah, nice. Yeah, oh, you guys are already playing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No done. problem. Hey, keep up the good work. All right. You guys are awesome. All right. Woo! Got your back. Woo! I'm just saying, this girl is hot. Which one? January Jones. Fantastic. Are you kidding me? Hot, right? Unbelievable. That blonde hair? I think that's like natural, don't you? Yeah, no, no. Without a doubt, she's natural. natural. No, natural I blonde. No, no, no. Natural blonde. I so hear what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is great. Good talk. Good talk. All right, guys. All right. <laughs> Relax. I got you six, huh? <laughs> Was sick this week. Got, got, got your back. Okay. Hey. Hey, thanks, man. Over the next five years, an estimated one million military service members will be returning to civilian life. So, how do we ensure that these veterans return home as leaders and civic assets? It all starts with us, lending some support and making sure we have their back. Or as they say in the military, having their six. Whether it be jobs, housing, education, or one of the many other problems facing our veterans and their families, they're looking to us for help. Together, we can get their six. Find out how you can help at yoursix.org. Please welcome to the stage actress Minka Kelly, Mundo star Crash, and Navy veteran and talent agent Brant Joel. The story of Got Your Six is encapsulated by a young Army veteran who returns home to a small town in the Midwest to become a dedicated, talented sixth grade math teacher. A young man will make a difference in the lives of children and be a model citizen in his community. Some questions might impact one, just thinking of just one teacher, one town. Let's not forget, over five years, there will be more than one million men and women returning to thousands of towns. They'll be becoming teachers, community leaders, entrepreneurs, and government officials. And if our communities are prepared to embrace them and to understand the skills that they bring home, then these are the individuals who will reinvigorate our nation. But it's up to us to hold our veterans to a high standard. And to remember, after we say thank you for our service, we must also say, and we still need you. We've seen it before. In the wake of conflict, our military veterans have returned home to inspire greatness in an entire generation. And I want this for my generation. When veterans separate from the military, there are many tasks that they need to accomplish. They will translate resumes, look for new housing, apply for jobs, and ultimately aspire to greatness. These responsibilities will fall on the veteran, him or herself. However, the ability for veterans to succeed to be reintegrated has a great deal to do with the civilians that surround them. 
If we greet them with understanding and raised expectations, then we are facilitating an environment in which they can thrive. The greatest generation was more than just military veterans. veterans. It, was every, it was everyone, veterans and civilians alike. So if we intend to have a new greatest generation, it is clear that there is a call to action for all of us. We are inspired by their military service, and now let us rally around our veterans and let us all achieve greatness together. I'm a very proud uh, U.S. Naval veteran who now works in the entertainment industry. I can't tell you how many times in my life that the Navy prepared me for my professional and personal life. Our skills are valuable, and our intangibles make us prepared to work in lives and, and careers that no one else is able to do. Got Your Six will ensure that all veterans are seen as leaders and civic assets. In that vein, it gives me great pleasure to welcome the state for some final words a U.S. Army veteran. He is the narrator of this Sunday's CNN specials, Vets Wanted, and the embodiment of veteran and a terrific dancer, J.R. Martinez. I tell people there's pros and cons of being on that show. Pros is that, uh, you know, your name gets out there and you're able to raise awareness about things that are, you know, and of course you learn how to dance. The cons is, is everybody thinks that I, I should dip them and I'm going to dip them. <laughs> or that I should teach them how to dance in uh, Terminal 5 at LAX. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Sorry. <laughs> Luckily, there was one pro in that room and that was Karina Smirnoff. She taught me. Um, we're all gathered here today because we all understand the impact that Hollywood has. The impact that it can make. Um, nobody really knew my story, quite honestly. And in 2008, when I had the unbelievable opportunity to join the entertainment industry, and then in last year, when, when Dancing with the Stars came to the forefront, people started to learn about my story, and who I was, and what I was about, and what I had done, and what I've overcome, and everything else. And people fell in love with that story. However, mine is just one of the many, many, many amazing, unbelievable stories that are out there in this country. And so far this morning, we've heard from a lot of, uh, half a dozen of other stories that have impacted you know, this country and, and things that they've been able to do. And in every town and every city in this country, we want to see and we will see more great things from these service members. But the real story is about what we can do together. Over 2.4 million people have served in Iraq and Afghanistan are actually service members. That's actually more than 10% of adult Americans. So it is our collective impact that will make most significant. The reality is these veterans already are civic assets. They are already leaders. And, and we already know that it's our veterans who will take a leading role in shaping our country in the next 20 or 30 years. But it's up to all of us to recognize this and to shift our perceptions of veterans so that they meet this reality. And it's up to every single one of us to remember that we're all in this together. I have people that come up to me all the time and say, I never got an opportunity to take the oath and to serve in, in our military, but I wish I would have. I, I wish I could have. You know, but the thing that I say to them is we all serve in a different capacity. and We all have the possibility and the opportunity to be able to serve for somebody else. It may not be in a uniform, but you wear your own uniform. As much as we all like coming here and seeing friends and mingling and having a great time and you're hearing about what the campaign is about, I hope that every single one of you walk away understanding and believing and knowing, and if you don't know, find a way to know of exactly what your uniform can do and how collectively every single one of us can use our own individual platforms to do something for somebody else that has served in our military. There are six pillars. I've got your six. I'm sure every single one of us in this room can pick one of those that we say, you know what, I'm passionate about this. As long as we're passionate and we believe in ourselves and our service members and our families, I guarantee you this campaign will be here in a year and all these commitments will be fulfilled. And potentially we'll be able to set new commitments maybe six months from now, maybe a year from now, maybe two years from now. All our vets want, and I know I'm kind of going off script a little bit here, that's what I do, but all our vets want is opportunities. 
All they want to do is be held up on a platform and say, you know what? It's your turn to show us. It's your turn to show us what you got, what you're about, what you can do for us. I mean, you know, that's, that's how we strive. We strive on those challenges. We're given missions and we complete them. Now, I hope every single one of you leave today with a mission in your hand, a mission in your pocket, and I hope that every single one of you, as our military does, is committed to that mission and completes it from this point on. Now, my service and a lot of those who have been wounded, whether you can see their scars externally or internally, their, their term has been kind of cut short. But the one thing that we have learned is that just because we don't have an M16 in our hand or you know, we don't have that BDU camouflage uniform on our body or depending on the branch that you're in, you know, we can still serve in a different capacity. It's important for us to be able to say, you know what, I've got your six and I always have and I always will, whether it's in or outside of the uniform. And now I know that they've got R6 too. So please know when you go home and you're having that, that sandwich, when you're you know, seeing someone in the park with your loved one or you're playing a game of ball with your boys, please know that somebody on the other side of this world has your back, has your six. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you.